What's up everybody, it's Daydreams, welcome back to the channel for another Clash of Kings video. So I'm here in the live stream doing NAG against P.O.T. P.O.T.'s teleported to the middle and the south tower of blessings, and then you've got NAG teleporting right here to the armory surrounding it. They've got six prestige sixes, P.O.T. has a lot of prestige sixes in the middle as well, but there's one big factor that's going to be going into this match right, near, right now, and that's that yeah, P.O.T. has the throne, you can see their, their buffs right there, but guess what? They do not have any buffs right now because I'm going to show you why. But the the resistance of Kingdom 520 sent me this. And I'm going to show it to you right now on my screen. Let me go to scene two. Where is it? There we go. Look right here. They put on Curse Becoming and it's effective right now. For the next 24 hours, they do not have any of the official buffs. So, they don't have any of those buffs right now, guys. That is so amazing. Um, Mr. Spank sent that to us. But, I mean, they've got a lot of Prestige 6s here in the middle, guys. Two, four, six Prestige 6s, and I believe they've got some big boys. Yeah, 1.2 billion. Um, the guard's not even here yet. 650 million. So, um, NAG, I've seen them put up, I, I believe, it, yeah, they fought Cyber Dream Clan and put up a good fight and uh, beat them, and it was a good battle. But, two... Four, six prestige six is here for them as well but where are the throne buffs you know what I'm thinking guys I'm thinking that NAG are in a throne war right now in their kingdom if someone go check kingdom 756 I bet they're in a throne war and I bet someone's got their throne because they had to come here so now they're missing their throne buffs that's a big deal but what they don't know is neither team has their throne buffs um, still prestige six in the hive it looks like unless that's one of them that's like glitched out Battle starts in 10 seconds. What's going to be the strategy of each team? I do like how NAG are working together here, just uh, sticking sticking by each other. You know, all these prestige sixes right next to each other. Here we go. They're starting out. One of the enemy teams are trying to speed to the armory, but NAG is going to take the armory. You can see that POT have sped to main, many of the major buildings, only taking the best buildings, not taking anything but that... NAG was able to take that supply point, but it's quickly going back to Power of Thrones. We'll take a look at the battle reports here in just a second, guys. Yeah, six or seven prestige sixes for NAG songs. Now, one good thing. Look at what POT are doing with some of their smaller prestige fives in the hive. Yeah, they're joining rallies, but they are also taking micro crystal mines, which NAG needs to have a small castle do that as well. It's a very important thing to do even if it's just a farm castle it looks like pot just took the armory as well wow so nag are gonna have to start rallying in their prestige sixes they've got two of them not even pop pop their shields yet so nag will have to start making moves they're reinforcing buildings pot power of thrones look like a very solid team guys they do have some big boys, so they could be one of the teams that you're going to have to look out for to possibly win the playoffs. Because one thing I noticed, they've got a lot of the Wings of Freedom. Three people with Wings of Freedom, meaning they've all spent 6 million gold each. Yeah, that's almost 2 billion power on the Prime Minister. And 1.2 billion right there. But they do not have any throne buffs right now. Neither does the other team. So, Diraj is saying that LDH took NAG throne in 756. Thank you, Diraj. So, I see a lot of red on the map. All those micro mines are three points each, so you can count those up. They've got every major building right now as well, POT. NAG don't look as well organized. Two of their prestige sixes have not popped their shields. One did now. The other hasn't. Uh, I'm guessing they're rallying. Yes, there is the rally on the armory. Did they take back the armory? Or was that a solo attack? P.O.T. hit a castle. Uh, Assassin tried to solo attack the armory, but there's only 1.2 million in there. Set a super alley, guys. Come on, get it together, NAG. All you gotta do is start setting super alleys. They're doing solo attacks on the armory. That's just not gonna work. All these solo attacks aren't gonna work against P.O.T. They're too strong. just not going to work. They're going to have to 
By the way, guys, in two hours, we've got three more matches going on, and we'll find the best match out of the group. Look at all that red on the map. They're taking all the micro mines as well. But look up this side of the map. You've got NAG starting to take back at least some buildings. Even though they are not giving them points per minute, they're taking back something. And the countdown hasn't started yet on all these buildings, so they're not really losing a lot yet. But they're going to have to start making moves. They're going to have to start taking... They've got to go take this, and they've got to start taking the armory now. Super impressive start from POT. They've got another prestige six down here. Here's the guard, 558 million. None of these buffs matter though. You can see POT has their uh, buff. I believe they were season one winner of the Dragon Campaign playoffs. I believe they were season one winner. So they're showing why they were season one winner. Very strong team. A lot of red on that map. We've got to start seeing some blue pop up. Let's watch NAG and see what they're going. NAG are doing a super alley through Assassin. Them not having buffs is really hurting them because had they had the buffs and NAG not had the buffs, they wouldn't have had to even worry about taking Tower Blessings and nothing. They would have still had the statistical advantage. So... They are rallying though, and I believe they have more prestige sixes, just not as they don't. Their prestige sixes just aren't as strong. Thank you, Knight, for subscribing to the channel. Appreciate it. Ronnie Swarm says this year his prediction is AAA against POT. Very well could be. I want to see VIP today. I heard they're very strong. Thomas, I'm guessing Curse should work in Dragon Campaign in any event. It should work in any event. Hey, what's up, Bot Blue? P.O.T. still has the armory. They're reinforcing the armory last second. They know that super rally is about to come in. Did they lose the armory battle? No, that was a... Look, they're solo hitting it right before the rally comes in. So N.A.G. are solo hitting the armory right before this rally comes in. I don't know if I like that. And they're just sending reinforcements after reinforcements, but they didn't send a hero, so that's not a good thing. So, they're taking it back solo, but then hitting it again solo. Look at all those micro mines. Diana says HMU is going to win it. Uh, they got strong players, but man, I don't think they've got this kind of organization. Oh, wow. Shuji just got super rallied. Let's see what happened. He's down to 109 million power. Did he lose anything? Oh, my goodness. Suji just took a 3 million power, uh, 3 million troop loss, 23 million power. That, that'll sting. He just ate a double super rally. Let's take a look at the first hit. 587% archer attack against 454. It appears he did have his hero in his walls. PO6 has some T6 troops, guys. I mean T11, T6. Some Prestige 2's reinforcing him. That can't. That ain't gonna work. He needed more people with more Berserker. I 
mean, he just lost some T9s. He lost all T9 troops on that first one, but then he lost some T10 on the second. He just got out of there. Um, I think POT is going to wrap this one up, guys. I really do. I think they're going to wrap it up real early. NAG. Um, fighting Cyber Dream Clan last week took a lot out of them. That's one of the big things about the playoffs is who do you play leading up to your final, final four matches and final eight matches because... If you burn up all of your gold and speed ups, then you can't do much. I'm not sure, Ganondorf. I'm gonna make you a mod, bro. What do you mean, uh, did some alliance try to hold with double gladiator armory and cavalry skill? Um, tell me what you're talking about. Look at all these micro mines taken. Yeah. They are trying. I do see rallies coming in. Oh, I see what you're saying. You mean the gladiator set. You put it on the hero and the lord, and then you skill cavalry on both. Okay. I'm not sure. Let me check. Which attack are you talking about, Gan? NAG keep trying these solo attacks on the armory. That's not going to work. It's not very nice, Ronnie. Alright, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this, and I'm going to introduce the first Final Four member of the Dragon Campaign Playoffs for the channel as soon as it stops lagging here. Let's go back into the game. Hey Mutant, what's up man? Alright guys, for the channel... I want to introduce the first Final Four member of the Dragon Campaign Playoffs Season 3. They are the Season 1 winners. Last year's Final Four members, P.O.T. Power of Thrones from Kingdom 520. There's their main juice castles. Let me go ahead and show you, show you what's up. 1.2 King. 650 on the night. I'm just going to show the Prestige 6 is 800 million. You've got 450 on the judge. 1.7 billion. Right there. On the... Prime Minister. 450 on that guy right there. And then down here, at the Tower of Blessings, you've got another Prestige 6. 600 million power guard. And someone that's just been speeding troops everywhere we're going to take a look at the queen and the judge just to see 426 million power queen probably close to prestige 6 420 on the judge close to prestige 6 so they've also got a lot of very you can see 300 million a lot of very strong prestige fives as well 600 million p5 all these guys are probably inches from prestige 6 they're just lacking some of the you know requirements So, this is uh, first first team to make it to the Final Four, guys. Thanks for watching. Team Mermaid Streamer, smash that thumbs up button. I'll see you guys here in a couple hours for the next Dragon Campaign playoff uh, live stream and game. Peace.